Hi everybody, this is Fial and I am back with another video review for you guys today. And today's video is going to be a book review. It is about a book that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed after I discovered it um, during my trip to Manila. And it is a very cute book. Oh my god, like, I have, oh my god, I'm having too much feels right now just because too much feels just because I just love this book pretty much um, it is today's video is gonna be a book review on this book right here it is a novella by Mina Villasquera who lives in the Philippines it's a local um, writer who writes chiclet or you know young women's literature pretty much romance pocketbook novel types books um which okay disclaimer i don't really like reading i'd rather read like full length like you know 300 page you know 400 page why young adult ya novels or something or you know other books like that like it's not really my cup of tea just because i've had a bad experience with filipino pocket books that you know i always thought was really cheesy and didn't really appeal to me but after i discovered these bunch of books from um not just her from this author mina Esguera, but a bunch of other authors that are under summit books if you guys watch my book haul uh, video for December uh, or my Manila book haul parts one and parts two the links are gonna be down below um, I gushed about this a little bit um, and showed you guys the other books as well, but this is The book interim goddess of love like I said and it is a I think it's like let me see how many pages it is um, less than 200 pages it's like 118 and um, this is not actually the Summit Books release edition of this um, novella. It's because um, it's not going to actually come out until later um, in 2013. And before I left Manila, I really wanted to have a copy, a print copy of this. Um, her books, Mina Villasquez's books, are actually also available as ebooks on Amazon. Um, and other major ebook retailer. If you guys would rather read her on your e-readers, uh, her books on your e-readers. Um, and let me just get to the story. Oh my God. Um, this story is about college sophomore Hannah Makiling, who doesn't really know why people just keep telling her stories about their love life and asking her for advice when really she's never had a boyfriend before and um in college she ends up meeting this guy who is just so he's good looking he's handsome he's so smart he's stoic and he's mysterious um college senior named joaquin or as like he calls himself his kin or quinn I actually pronounce it as Quinn. I'm not sure. I should ask the author. But I think I pronounce it as Quinn um, Apolinario. So Quinn Apolinario um, turns out, lo and behold, he's actually the Tagalog god of the sun. Um, and he ends up asking Hannah Makiling to um, be the interim goddess of love because the goddess of love has gone AWOL and he needs somebody to fill in to pretty much keep in check the world's obsession with love or lack thereof of it. So she becomes um, the person who tries to help this girl named Kathy Martin to find out who her secret admirer is. Okay, this is actually a novella in a young adult form. Um, I believe this is Mina Esguera's first YA, um, her, her debut into the YA genre. And um, like I said, it's a very short read. It's so cute, this little book. Um, this is, I believe, her self-published um, edition. Um, and when I read it on my ebook, I actually contacted Miss Esguera on Twitter as 
I always do with authors that I love. Um, and she was kind enough to um, ship me um, the book and even wrote this very, very cute um, dedication. And so my copy is a signed copy. I'm going to keep it forever. Oh my god. Um, but before all that gushing, what I really loved about the book is that it really, like I said, Queen Apollinario is the god of the sun. And all the other gods make an appearance um, into the, the book, into the novella. And what I love about it is that it really weaves into the stories of Filipino mythology. I think most people are familiar with Greek mythology, Roman mythology, as such from other countries, but I felt the shame that as a Filipino, I never really explored or know that much about Filipino mythology and the gods and goddesses that were, you know, I probably learned sometime in like elementary or grade school, but never really knew what were they about. And um, I kind of thought it was a cute, cute integration of those themes and kind of makes for a good hook for a novella. I believe this is actually going to be the first out of um, a planned series of books and I believe Miss Isgara said she's going to be coming out with the second book, Queen of the Coolest, in a couple of months. I'm hoping sometime in January, February maybe. Oh my god. Um, because I'm excited to find out what happens um, between Hannah and Quinn who you know obviously will have this romantic relationship but how is it gonna pan out when Quinn is actually the you know god of the sun in disguise and Hannah is a goddess in training but really she's still immortal so I thoroughly enjoyed enjoyed this um, book it's a very cute short read Anyways, I have a signed copy for myself, but Miss Isgero was kind enough to actually send me two more copies of the book, which, uh, which are both also signed. So I'm actually going to do a giveaway. Um, more details are going to be down below on the description box on how to join. Um, pretty much, you just have to be subscribed to this channel, Mint Jeweler Reviews, and leave a comment. Um, just let me know. What would you do if you were a god or a goddess? You know, for the ladies out there, what would you do if you were the temporary goddess of love? And for the guys, like, I guess, what would you do if you were, like, the god of the sun or the god of the sea or something? And what powers would you want? That would be it. Um, if you want an extra entry, um, just... Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter username is Miss Manderly. I'm going to put the link down below. And on your YouTube comment, just type out your, um, your Twitter name. Or on Twitter, just tweet me back or something. Like, um, I'm going to actually put out Twitter and tell you guys all the details on how to join using that medium um but yeah i have two signed books to give away um i'm gonna draw out the winners probably sometime in next week or so or one week after this video goes up okay um and as an added bonus i actually also am giving away two more books this one is fairy tale fail also by Ma um by mina sorry by mina is gara and also a copy of From This Way Forward. This is by another Summit Books author, Marla Miniano. And it's a really good book. I might do a review on this as well. So I'm going to do a, give, give these away as well. So four, four of my lucky um, subscribers are going to get these books. So um, yeah, I'm going to pick out a winner. So let me know uh, down below what your answer is and more... Um, info in the description box on how to enter this giveaway. That's it guys. Bye. <laughs>